I have never really believed in myself. I never thought I was good enough. I never thought I'd be good enough to be a good runner or a good student or good enough for my parents. I just never thought I could live up to those expectations. I thought I was great at volleyball. I'm tall and athletic, so why would I not be? At freshman tryouts, I had no doubt in my mind that I would not make the team. So when I didn't make it, I was crushed. I was so confused why I didn't make it. I was ready to give up on sports. Then someone told me about the cross country team, the cross country team, and the first thing I thought was why? Why would anyone run for fun? Running is a punishment. I did not want to do that every day. I didn't want to put myself through that, but I went anyway. One hot summer morning, I got up extremely early to make it to the crazy 6 a.m. practice. Who gets up that early? Why was I doing this? My mom took me to the high school when I was super nervous, partly because I didn't know anyone who would be there. Who would I talk to when I got there? Where would I go? And when I got there, it was even worse because the coach told the workout a 45 minute run. A few more weeks passed and I had been doing this every day. And I knew we had a race coming up, my first race. So every day at practice that week, I thought about how crazy it was going to be to have to run a 5K. I could barely run two slow miles at practice, so there was no way I could do that. I had never done that before. I figured, you know, I'll just have to trot around and it'll be fine. It clearly was not fine. It hurt so bad and I was ready to quit sports once again. I did not know how I would keep doing this every day. I told myself I just wouldn't go back because I didn't run well, so no one would miss me anyway. I was slow and on JV from my freshman year to my junior year. I could not help that I wasn't fast, but I really tried my best. At this point, it was the end of my junior year, cross-country season, and I was done being the runner in the back. I was going to find something inside me to push myself to go faster. I had to find my inner drive and run with it. I ran track that year like I had the previous three, but I debated on doing it because there was a new coach and I didn't know if I would like him. At first, Coach Alexander and I did not really get along. I had never ran the two mile, and that's always what he put me in. No matter how many times I told him that I was terrible at it, he put me in it anyway. So, he told me if I wanted to do shorter distance races, I had to run faster, and that's exactly what I did. I dropped my times and started running and started running faster and started to really care. I started caring because I had someone who believed in me and taught me I could do it. Finally, I had someone who had faith in me and saw potential in my abilities. My times were dropping and I was in the top four for, on my team for the 800, so I got to be on the 4x8 team. It was a really big deal to me. I had never been on varsity before, and I didn't know how to think about that. No one had ever needed me to do well before. I didn't really think I could do it. I didn't think I could hit a 240 800. Another time, I put myself down and doubted myself. I got so close to my goals that season and finally felt good about myself, I actually felt needed. As track came to a close, I slowly started to realize that people were getting letterman jackets and I was not. I was told, you know, you run on varsity, you get a letter. I was always told that. And then I was told that I didn't letter, but he didn't have a reason for me. And just like that, all my hopes and dreams were crushed again. That season started with me hating how I ran and ended the exact same way. Senior cross country season, the last year, I knew if I, was, I knew I wouldn't be on varsity my senior year, and that really upset me. I tried to hide the fact that it was that I that it upset me, but my mom saw straight through it. She told me that if I wanted to be top seven, I could be. I didn't, I did not have a clue where she was getting that from. I was slow, and I knew I was slow. I just accepted it. I finally found some confidence during that track season, and it got squished like a bug. One afternoon at cross-country practice, Coach Alexander asked me if I was interested in running in college. That thought never crossed my mind. Coach Bailey, who I had as a coach for four years now, never once brought it up to me. So when Coach Alexander asked me, I told him I wanted to, but I wasn't fast enough. He told me the school was interested in me, Southern Wesleyan University. I had never heard of them, but they were taking an interest in me, and that was something that had never happened before. He told me if I got my times down just a little bit, they would give me a scholarship. No one had ever told me, talked to me about running in college, so this was a huge shock to me. That year, I got down to 2140. Going from running in the 25s to running in the 21s was crazy. It was a great feeling. I'd never felt that runner high before. That day at cross-country practice, when Coach Alexander asked me about college, it sparked a fire in my mind, in my feet, and in my heart. So from that day on, I was going to be great. I ran so hard, I pushed myself as hard as I could. I did it. I was on varsity and I was a college commit. I finally found it in myself, the confidence I had been searching for. It finally came out in me. I was finally happy with my times and happy to be on a team. I felt like I was needed and that they wanted me there. I had not dread going to practice anymore and I loved it. I love coming out every day and I have myself to thank. I finally believed in myself. I will always thank Coach Alexander for believing in me and finding the greatness inside of me. It was always there. I just wish I had seen it sooner. I wish someone would have helped me find it sooner. That day, someone helped me find it. I wish, but I still wish someone would have helped me find it sooner or just taught me to believe in myself.